Welcome back to All the Crackers in the Box. Today we are here to talk about my beautiful summer shirt and how we're making out. Not too bad, not too bad actually. Finished my pillow cases for my son. They look pretty nice. Soft. Buttons look good. Everything's done on it. It's already given back to him. Really happy to say that project is off the books started a new one got two more in the works for planning and also I've been working on some diamond art being that I've been getting some really fun new ones a little more Timu art that I forgot about uh, a little diamond art mini haul from Timu two paintings nothing major uh, and cross stitch cross stitch I need to catch up on that now that I have magnifying glasses and my headlamp I will be able to finish so that's exciting for me I hate unfinished projects that I keep coming across when I'm cleaning up it really irritates me anyways sit back hang out let's talk crafty stuff And I'm finally done the two pillows. I added my buttons on this afternoon while watching some Bag O' Day Live. And I think they turned out really nice. They're super soft. They look good. They feel nice. And I'll find out tomorrow morning for sure if they have worked out for my son as he took them to his room. And that should be the last I see of them anytime soon. Just really happy that I was able to put together something for him that he really enjoys. And they look good.
And here we are with my one thrifted yarn for the week so far. Two dollars. I'm going to assume that this is a Red Heart Super Saver. But the color is amazing, this royal purple. My son picked this one out thinking that this would be something I could definitely get some use out of and I agree with him fully. Alright, this one isn't actually for me, this is for my son, and he picked up a nice metal. This is actually metal. Bit of nostalgic art for his room. He really loves Dr. Pepper. We are con He is considering getting a Coca-Cola one as well, because he's a big fan of Coca-Cola as I am. And yeah, the Dr. Pepper one was really cool looking. Real metal. Really excited about that one. Timo for the wind. Super tiny diamond, haul, diamond art haul through Timu. I have this one already and this one is for my son. We both enjoyed the look of the Tyrannosaurus Rex being ridden by a cool relaxed unicorn. 30. This adorable one just came in the mail a couple days ago. Bunch of 80 slashers. Well, I guess Leatherface would be from the 70s, technically. Riding around in the mystery machine. Not a Scooby-Doo in sight. Oh, and Scream Face there in the front seat beside Chucky would be the 90s. But this one, I couldn't wait to get my hands on. I'm going to have a lot of fun doing this one. It just makes me laugh. Alright, Chibi Spider-Man. This is for my son, Cross Stitch. I've been working on this one for a long time. I had to put him down due to my failing eyesight. I think I can do it now. I have proper glasses, headlamp. I got all the everything else I need for it, including the pattern, and it's just gotta get back into it and get that one done. Alright, my most accessible classic vintage, whatever you want to call it, magazine of patterns. This one it deals with cross stitch and needlepoint. It's called Stitcher World from March 2002. It's for $4.95 US. I have no idea if it's in Canada at all. I think it was paid 29 cents from the look of that. I don't know. My mom got this one, so she could have gotten it anywhere. Every bunny loves spring. This cute little bunny there on a pillow. Heart of hard danger, danger. Not sure what that is. Perfectly pretty cross stitch. Plus turn of the century cross stitch. Ursula Michael Afghan Busy Bee sampler. Easy Easter projects and so much more. And then we get a couple ads to begin with. The art salutes America some fine work over on our opposite page we got new DMC needlework fabric fabulous got a lot of DMC in my house and we got a page of letters called your letters of course I just wanted to show that a few different letters here briefly but I don't want to talk about where they're from because that's an invasion of privacy here but we have people from Langley, BC, Lincoln, England, Humboldt, Tennessee, uh, uh, and we have one even from France. Writing in Redford, Minnesota there, I hope you found somebody who wanted to be your pen pal. And now we have 
an article about Sandy. I'm not sure who Sandy is, but it's Sandy's Gift. I'm assuming that's either Sandy or the author, Michelle Howard, but I'm going to say Sandy. Huh. Sandy Jenkins, happy to show you how. It's a hand painted canvas oil stitch guide or knitted, kitted with stitch guide and fiber, Sandy said. Shown above is 428 teacups. Oh, so basically, kind of advertising that she was like doing early Etsy. Here's a kit. Follow these outlines. You can do it. That's pretty cool. Really cute designs. Some very fine work to them. Like, look at those hats. Fabulous. A couple more examples of her work. And they are very detailed, that is for, for sure. Oh, I remember these kind of pillows. I had a few. When I think Americana, I really think of this burlap and this kind of writing. That I'm not sure why. That is a nice roost. Then we hit the giant pattern for this bunny that's supposed to go on a cute pillow. Oh, it's designed by Sandy. No wonder they had a big article, two page article on her for cross stitch. Hello, bunny. Simple spring wreath we have. All these little. I think these would make excellent fridge magnets if you had the time. I really like that one with the little ladybugs and the hoe. And it looks like a gardening glove. Beautiful rose, daffodil. Very nice. So I've got two pages. I'd probably go with that one too. Plant a seed. Cute. Old McDonald's Country Restaurant, two eggs, any style, 10 cents. That's a good price. Ham or bacon, what about both? Fresh milk, coffee or toast. Open 12 a.m. to 12 p.m. daily. That would be cute in a country, or a farm-based type kitchen. Couple Easter designs. Just love the detail and cross-stitch. There's a lot of them that I see that I really like, but I don't have the time or the patience. I miscount quite often, but I do enjoy a nice cross stitch. The sound of the needle going through is very, very relaxing. Spring kitty. Looking a little grumpy there with your little grumpy face there, cat. Got some cute flowers by him. Got quite a bit of back stitching. A lot of people don't like back stitching, but I absolutely love it. Like I'd probably back stitch this part here too, just to make it really pop. But I don't know if I'd use the same colors as they'd have. I might with go with black just to make it more dramatic. The Afghan sampler. Not something I think I would do, but you have to admire the work. Really detailed. Country weather vane. Again, for definitely for if you had a farm type decor, this would be excellent choice for anywhere in your house. Probably I would go with like an entryway hallway. And this one is the Bus busyness sampler. Samplers aren't done too often. I do love that one where the little girl wrote from like 18 something that she hated every minute of it. I always get a good chuckle when I see that one come up on my feeds. And this is my Chat Noir. Hello Kitty. 
I love his crazy face. Very simple design. I'm about, oh, let's say right about here on this. I got really bored with the red. I'm not very good at that kind of thing. But it's not going to take me too, too long once I get back into it. It is stitching over two rows, so I made it a little bit bigger. I picked this guy in particular to match up with my picture of a sushi chef kitty for my kitchen because I really like like my sushi cat and so my art for my kitchen should match him accordingly. Diamond Ice. Try your hand at hard danger. This is not something I've ever really heard about but from looking at the instructions here there is some intense patterns going on in here. Tulip stitch, oyster box, dove eye. I think that's a little past my pay grade. Looks cool though. This one is called April Shower Stitch Guide. It's charted in here, but the whole page is about how to plan out a project for cross-stitch. Getting all your supplies, getting a kit together, making sure you have all your right uh, materials to make it. How to do everything. Interesting. I actually kind of really like these. Orange spice tea and rose hip tea. Char Charles Craft. I wonder if I could find these or something similar. Love the little tea cups. For my tea and coffee area. I've got one counter that's set aside for tea and coffee. And a whole cupboard for my teas. And a little bit of coffee. I do enjoy my hot drinks. And this one is a lovely cross stitch that appears to have been interest lost, but now I just haven't really had a lot of cross stitch being that my eyes were getting really bad and babies, lots of babies. This one is based on Le Chat. I uh, can't remember the rest of it, but it is a French advertisement and yeah, I've got all the colors I need. I got everything set aside. I've got the pattern and it's going to get done eventually. But every so often I pull it out and remember, you need to get this one done. Well, thank you for watching. Hope you have a great day.